saya tidak ada masalah untuk mengadakan dan bersetuju dengan program mengeratkan hubungan antar kaum. Yes, of course. But you leave BTN to continue to fester. And I must tell you why people should really be angry. Because I came from a public university. Now the public universities in this country, we want it to be the best. Not only is it not among the top 300, but the worst thing is, you have people like Sharifah Zohra and these programs are being replicated, mind you. This is our tertiary institution. Nak masuk universiti ni, kalau nak fikir macam satu luxury. Bukan mudah nak masuk universiti, dah masuk. You tunjuk apa? Ada program khas? Jom tunjuk gambar Datuk Ambiga ini. Pengkhianat. This is an anarchist. No? Lepas tu tunjuk gambar siapa? Tepat gambar saya lah. Saya pun terkejut juga. I spoke to... Um, um, who's that lady who Babani. was curated? Babani. Babani. So she told me, you know, the other picture that was shown actually before the berating of Babani was my picture. You see, my picture was there. Ini, ini akan mengakibat huru hara. You see, you cannot follow her. You know, you cannot follow her because she's a bad example to Malaysians, especially women. <laughs> okay, it's hard not to, to personalize this, but you know, this is a, it's a tragedy, really, in the fact that these programs destroying the minds of our young talents. So because of that, saya rujuk kepada apa yang berlaku di England. You see, in, 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 don't don't be don't be sad, don't despair. There's always hope. In England, in 1988, they suffered their worst track record in terms of education. They had a great debate. They panggil kerana pada ketika itu para guru dibenci. Para guru ni jadi jawatan di England yang dirasakan sebagai jawatan yang tidak ada maruah. It's not respected. Tapi akhirnya ada satu. Ya. Kiranya debate perbahasan seluruh negara dilaksanakan tapi mereka tak mahu libatkan ahli politik. The politicians were not allowed to participate in the great debate. And I think this is how we should tackle and view education in this country. You have four main reports. World Bank ada, yeah, McKinsey ada, yeah, United Nations ada. Bila minta dari kepada Datuk Tan Sri Nuhidin Nasim, dia kata, sometimes why be lemah pantai, when you ask for some things, you get a no. <laughs> That's the answer for me. You know, I said I have a daughter. I registered her in the government school. I would really like an access. Uh, I want to gain access to those reports. So at least I feel comfortable and confident that the government is doing their best to improve the education sector. And what I get is a no. Sometimes you ask, you get yes. Sometimes you ask, you get a no. So yes, that's the level of our education minister. Yeah, congratulations, Malaysia. The plans are there, and if you ask, how will we ensure the pangkat pangkat government will be different? Bagaimana kita boleh memastikan ya hak masyarakat India yang terjaga, hak masyarakat Melayu dan juga Cina, Karazan dan juga wilayah uh, lain di Sabah dan Sarawak. Bagaimana kita boleh pastikan? Saya kata pastikan dalam 100 hari pertama dilaksanakan reformasi politik supaya setiap institusi ya itu haruslah berkhidmat untuk rakyat bebas daripada genggaman kuasa mana-mana pihak. Selagi kita ada sistem, kita mungkin boleh tukar Gani Patel. You know that non-performing Attorney General. Uh, yeah. Kita mungkin boleh tukar. Tapi selagi you have that position where he is not only the Attorney General, but he is also the advisor to the Prime Minister, nothing, ladies and gentlemen, will change. Jadi kerana itu saya katakan, dalam konteks ini, Bukan itu saja janji kita untuk mereformasikan ya, politik dalam negara kita, pastikan SPRM for goodness sake. What is, what are they doing about Papa Gomo? You know, it, it, it sickens me. You know, I this individual who has single-handedly destroyed so many people's reputations, not just about Anwar Ibrahim, it's about Sarbaini. Don't forget, dia boleh letakkan gambar ya Allah ya Hak Sarbaini, katanya ni girlfriend dia. Dia ambil dari telefon arwah itu, ya, telefon itu yang sepatutnya dijaga oleh pihak polis. Dan gambar itu ternyata kawan baik anaknya, anak perempuan. Because I met the family after that. Papa Gomo was responsible for this. Papa Gomo was responsible for tarnishing and of course uh, vilifying Lim Guan Ying's son. And until today, we've given his identity. We've given you his, you know, identification card. 
police uh, background, the fact that he's been removed by the police force, semua dah check, 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 hanya tidak ada a rule of law yang boleh diguna pakai untuk menangkap individu yang hina ini. Bukan itu saja, dijemput, dijemput untuk hadir memeriksa kapal selam Malaysia yang tak boleh selam tu. Ya, he was one of the invited guests inside the kapal selam and you wonder, are we safe? You see, this is happening in front of our eyes and these are the individuals protected because they are only going to defend and further UMNO Barisan Nasional Squad. Jadi peringatan buat diri saya dan semua. Bila kita inginkan keadilan, makanya untuk ahli UMNO dan pimpinan UMNO juga, keadilan harus kita tegakkan. I might not like what they've done, but I will always remind myself, never hate. Never personalize because no matter what they do, whether it's politics of slander, violence, attack, etc., we must rise above. This, we must be. This is the Malaysia we want to survive and save. So please, apa pun pada pasukan keselamatan kita nak pukul pukul kita buat laporan polis kita kerjasama. Jaga diri kita. Karena itu saya nak katakan, please don't be afraid. You know when this political violence or the temperature has risen slightly, I will be there with you. I will be there. I cannot do this alone. All I ask is, you know, sebenarnya kita menyambut sambutan, you know, tahun baru Kamil. Saya minta, please, let us stand together. Let us stand as one. Women don't share each other. Good, good, good. Kita ini satu keluarga yang besar dan janganlah, jangan biar sesiapa pun menghancurkan agenda ini. Because this is what they want. You know, if you have an incompetent home minister, then view him as incompetent and idiotic. But don't take him seriously. You see, so we must know what to do. We must understand our responsibilities. And ladies and gentlemen, please do not lose these elections because by the time we get to the fourth in GE. I don't think there's any more money left for Pakatan Rakyat to salvage. Oh, we are not miracle workers. We certainly need you know, some of the government's coffers to implement some of the programs. You see, now for the Pakatan Rakyat state, yang kita laksana adalah when you, the magic word, open tender. You see, when you implement open tender, especially for government procurements, yeah, yeah. Uh, government procurement projects, you definitely slash up to 25 to 30% of expenditure. Itu kita laksana di Selangor, Pulau Pinang dan negeri-negeri lain. Ya? Bukti. Jadi, dalam semua usaha, kalau kita untuk membelanjakan program-program kita, saya minta go review Rafizi Ramli's uh, recording and explanation of this matter. But all I ask is one chance. Please, ladies and gentlemen, do not waste your vote. Go out every day, every time you can, every opportunity you get. Convince all your friends. Vote for the future. Vote for change. And please, let's build a better Malaysia.
melakamkan ribuan terima kasih kepada uh, YB Nuriza. Sekali lagi, ini Kalila. Bukan. Ini Kalila. Bukan. Ini Kalila. Ya, terima kasih tuan-tuan dan cara selepas dengar daripada apa yang telah disampaikan oleh ceramah tuan-tuan kita, diharapkan tuan-tuan menjadi ejen perubahan. Ejen sebarkan maklumat ini kepada rakan-rakan agar kita berjaya menjadikan putra jaya milik Pakatan Rakyat. Dengan itu, saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada tuan-tuan dan puan-puan yang sedia hadir melapangkan masa kita pada hari ini. Ya, saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada pihak uh, Kepimpinan dan uh, insyaAllah kita akan mengadakan program lagi. Wabilah kita berbual dengan saya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.